Good news, everyone. We've got a whole other page of write the acid-base reaction. So because I kind of, I, I did the procedure of checking the acid-base table in a fair bit of detail on the last one, I'm going to do these a little bit faster just so I don't completely exhaust you or my voice, hopefully. So same drill as in the previous examples, but a little faster and if you need more detail, get a hold of the instructor and they can fill in any blanks that I create here. So, sodium sulfite. The sodium is going to dissolve off and we don't care about it. Sulfite is this. Sulfurous acid is H2SO3. This has to be the base because it doesn't have any hydrogen to give. So, this will gain a hydrogen and become HSO3 minus. This will lose a hydrogen and become, oh, look at that, HSO3 minus. So this had no hydrogen, this had two hydrogen. They even out and say, you know what, let's each have one hydrogen, which is very fair-minded of them. Ammonium chloride breaks up into ammonium and chlorides, and that ends up in a container with water. So if you read down the acid base table, the first acid that, you're f that you find, and it's way down at the bottom, is ammonium ion. That's our strongest acid. And water ends up being our strongest base. So the reaction's going to be ammonium gives away a hydrogen, becomes ammonia, and water picks up a hydrogen and becomes H3O. The chloride never gets a chance. One of the reasons for that is we could say water is a stronger base than chloride is. The other reason for it is, let's do a counterexample. What if Cl was a base? What if we gave it a chance to act as a base in some reaction? It's been wanting to do this for years, and now we finally say, all right, chloride, we're going to give you a hydrogen. Don't screw this up. Here's your hydrogen chloride. What happens? It turns into HCl. It says, yes, I got a hydrogen. Now I'm not Cl, I'm HCl. But wait, HCl is a top six acid. It is infinitely, perfectly good at giving away hydrogen. It won't hold on to this. The very instant that you give HCl, that you create HCl, it's going to grab the first water molecule it can find and give that hydrogen away again and revert back to chloride ion. It's like giving the world's most generous person a dollar. You can give it to them, but wait two seconds and they're not going to have it anymore. They say, well, I gave you a dollar, what happened to it? Well, I met somebody and I gave it to them because that's what I do. Top six acids cannot even hold on to hydrogen, so it's their conjugate bases, there's no point even giving them a hydrogen because they're not going to hold on to it. They're not going to hold on to it. They will instantly give it back away. So that's another reason why we don't consider chlorides when we're looking at our acid base table. The corollary to these are the best acids ever and they're perfect at giving away hydrogen is these, their conjugate bases, are the worst bases ever. They are perfectly bad at taking hydrogen because as if they ever got one, they'd instantly lose it again. Maybe you weren't wondering about that, but in case you were, there you go. Chloride is a bottom six base, meaning useless at being a base, meaning we don't even need it in our reaction. Let's get it out of there. Okay, I said I'd try to go a little quicker, so let's try to keep the promise here. Ethanoic acid, C2H5, no, that's, sorry, that's ethanol. CH3COOH is what I was looking for reacts with sodium hydroxide. This dissolves. The sodium breaks off and we don't care about it because it's not an acid or a base. Hydroxide is certainly a base. So this thing has acid in its name. This thing is the essence of base. So we think we know what's going on here. The acid gives away hydrogen. CH3COO minus. And the OH gains a hydrogen and turns into cool, refreshing water. Hydrosulfuric acid is H2S, reacts with carbonate ion. 
well, to be, a, to be an acid, you've got to have hydrogen to give away, so I nominate this the acid, which makes this the base. You could look those up on the table if you wanted to. It'll tell you the same thing I just did. But why not shortcut it if you, if you can? The acid gives away a hydrogen, becomes the hydrogen sulfide ion, and the carbonate picks up a hydrogen and becomes hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate. Okay, a few more. Sodium carbonate. Sodium breaks off and is irrelevant. Carbonate ions are these. It's mixed with aluminum hydrogen sulfate. Now, aluminum is not anywhere on our acid base table, so we'll pretend we didn't see that. What interests us is hydrogen sulfate, HSO4. What will these do? Well, this can't be an acid, it has no hydrogen, so apparently this is our acid. This will be our base. So if the base gains a hydrogen, we get HCO3 minus. If this gives away a hydrogen, it becomes the sulfate ion. Quick note, when I'm writing these, I try to go acid, base, acid, base. I'm just used to doing that, and it having things organized that way makes it me a little bit less prone to errors. But in this one, the sentence mentioned the base first, and I just went with it, even though it, I find the resulting order a little bit unpleasant. So if, you're, if you get some kind of pattern for, for writing these, that's good, and it'll probably help you stay organized and keep you on track. But sometimes it means you have to fight the way that they've written the question, because they may not follow the same order that you like to use. Uh, iron 3, iron is not an acid or a base, goodbye. Cyanide is CN minus. Reacts with potassium, don't care about that either. Hydrogen phosphate, HPO4 2 minus. Now this one I have to look up, I actually, well, no I don't. I was going to say I'm not sure which of these is low, higher on the list, but it's simpler than that, only this one contains hydrogen, so not as tough as I thought. HPO4 is our acid because it has hydrogen to give away. It will give away hydrogen and turn into phosphate ions. This will gain hydrogen and become hydrogen cyanide. Ammonium chloride breaks up into ammonium and we've discussed pretty recently why we don't care about the chlorides. They're one of the bottom six bases, meaning completely useless as a base. This breaks up into sodium, goodbye, don't care, and hydroxide. Okay, well, this is pure base. Guaranteed that's your strongest base. And ammonium is a weak acid. It's fairly low on the list, but you'll find it if you read down your left-hand side. This can give away a hydrogen, which will turn it into ammonia. Hydroxide will pick up a hydrogen and turn into water. You could write this HOH and it's perfectly reasonable to do so. I knew it was going to be water and because I was saying water I kind of automatically wrote the common formula for it. Uh, lithium, you are a metal, goodbye, you're not an acid or a base. Cyanide is CN minus. Reacts with sodium, gone. Hydrogen sulfite, Well, acids have to have hydrogen, so this has got to be our acid. This will give away a hydrogen and become SO3, and it loses another charge, so it becomes minus 2. The cyanide gains a hydrogen, and again we see hydrogen cyanide.